guys, Allison here. And I, Peyton, I'm also here. Look what we got. The Percy Jackson coloring book. Yeah, yeah. Which is a misleading title since it's only stuff It's literally from just a <laughs> I thought it was going to be PJO and now I'm thoroughly really disappointed. Actually, not really because we got some good pictures in here. There are good pictures in here. And today we will be drawing those awesome pictures. Drawing? I thought we were just coloring them. Well, you, you draw the colors on <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, there is a divider here, so I can't see what she's doing, she can't see what I'm doing, and at the end, we're gonna re reveal our masterpiece. Just to keep things amusing, we are going to have some Rick Riordan related chit chat up in here. Just to make sure that we don't have the same page, I am like somewhere like in the middle-ish. I'm a little past the middle. So am I. Does yours, this is like guess who, <laughs> does yours have a cabin in it? Yes. On the right side? Yes. Does the left side feature three individuals? Yes. <laughs> God damn it! Damn it! We already messed up! <laughs> <laughs> Let's repick. Alright. I'll go with my second option. <laughs> A little closer to the end. Alright, solid. Mine is like metal-ish again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ready, set, start. <laughs> <laughs> Lunges. So, have y'all seen Rick's recent Q&A? For Percy's birthday, he did. He was answering questions like all day on Twitter. We did get information that was rather interesting. Yeah. Like, uh, let's just start with we narrowed down the scope of who Reyna will end up with, meaning it's now down to just one gender. We're confirmed that she's only into guys. Yep. So as you can probably figure out, that caused some emotional turmoil. <laughs> I don't see it as a problem yeah, because exactly. Rick already has He has kin. so many LGBT characters. It's really not that big of a thing. It's not like he's purposely going out of his way to avoid LGBT characters. He's like just honestly going with what he's doing. Yeah, yeah? exactly. If that wasn't his vision for the character, that's not his vision for the character. Yeah. And he was really respectful with it, which I like. Yeah, exactly. he, was, he was saying how like, yeah, you can still ship Reyna with other girl characters. Your interpretation's your own interpretation. I'm just saying my own is a She's into guys, and that's what's going to be in the books. Rick Riordan, you're a saint among the saints. Now you will likely see me getting up to blow my nose frequently because Hayden's got her bunny in here, and I'm allergic to such creatures. I love bunnies though, which is sad. Have you ever seen what a bunny looks like without its fur, like, shaved? No, because I like mine too much to shave it. <laughs> no, like, I have curiosity on, like, the internet, stuff like that. I've never actually took a gander, though. I did once. Just because I was like curious what like traditionally furry animals look like. What's this side beneath them? This other layer. And it's just skin. That's it's skin. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if in the future one day you could treat animals to like chemo if they get dog cancer or something and like they go bald. Like I know you can like surgically like have tumors removed but I don't know if beyond that if there's anything for treating dogs with cancer. <laughs> Why is this a topic of conversation? Like, we started off this video saying that we were going to be talking about PJO stuff, but then we just started talking about dogs with cancer. Oh, yes. Going back to, um, the Rick tweets, right? He also confirmed that Alex Fierro is, in fact, Pam! Pam! And honestly, I was not paying attention to the Twitter universe. She told me that, like, Alex was Pam, and honestly, it took me a solid second to realize she was talking about the sexuality. And not I the thought, character. and not the character pan. I was like, wait a minute. I had to process it <laughs> because, like, I've heard the thing that like Magnus is literally just like pan because of like his godly parentage. So like, it didn't process. <laughs> that happened in one of the comments. Did it really? Yeah, like someone was saying in the comments that like Magnus is pan, and no one can tell me otherwise. And then someone commented back that pan doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> I wonder if, like, Pan the character was Pan sexual. That'd be interesting. It'd be, like, Pan someone, squared. Someone needs to, like, write a book on that. Some, like, Song of Achilles sort of, like, book. Pan the god is pansexual and is in a relationship with a satyr. Grover. <sighs> what? Don't worry, he's coming back. Jason and Piper are coming back, too, according to Rick's Oh, yes, yeah, speaking of which. I'm not gonna see Reyna till book four. We're not gonna see Camp Jupiter till book four. Upsetty spaghetti. So my question is, where is this book gonna take place then? Besides in a maze. I'm guessing Arizona. I have a lot of solid evidence to back me up. Exhibit A. 
They said that they're going to the west. So look at western states and we think about where are their entrances to the labyrinth there. There's one close to Clarice's house. And it just so happens that Clarice is going to University of Arizona, also at the same time. So she's in the state at the time, so she could easily be in the book. Woohoo! Returning characters. So yeah, that's a possibility that they're gonna bring, um, and by there, I mean, um, Rick. Rick. He yeah. has all the power. He has soul control. Soul control. <laughs> he um, controls my soul. I wasn't going that direction. I was going for the rhyme, but then you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Allison, you can think like that, that's fine. <laughs> uh, he definitely confirmed that Jason and Piper, and also Grover, are gonna be in the next book, so I'm just curious who else. I feel like you can do a lot with those, but I also feel like there's like a lot of room to add more characters. Well, in other books, there weren't that many returning characters, if you really think about it. Yeah. And Dark Prophecy. Did I mention that this is a spoiler alert video? Damn it. <laughs> that sounded like a trumpet. <laughs> in the Dark Prophecy, there was only Leo, Calypso, Thalia returning. Apollo, obviously, but like Grover slightly, like five seconds. Be I find it hilarious how, like, in PJO, when it was just starting out, Grover had, like, barely any fans. But then the fact that we've been deprived of him for so long, everyone's like, I like, through Grover withdrawal. <laughs> so there's this, um, video <laughs> that I've had, like, in my head all day that I watched, like, yesterday, and I can't get it out of my head. It's called Beep Beep, I'm a Sheep. <laughs> it's on Just Dance, and so, like, it was, like, a video. It's really funny because it's a guy, like, dressed at, like, Sean the Sheep and doing the Just Dance. <laughs> Copyright claim! <laughs> I could dig something like this. It cracks me up! Now, to be clear, are we allowed to, like, add things to the- Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, good. So, yeah, Rick still hasn't let out the uh, sneak peek for, um, Ship of the Dead. Usually, we would have released it by now, but apparently not. What a loser. Honey, did you just call Rick Ryan a loser? <laughs> like a thousand people who watch us and are obsessed with this man. And they're all upset with him too for not releasing the snippet. So right now he's a little loser. <laughs> so I found this colored pencil. It's black along the side, right? And then I look at the tip and it looks brown. I'm like, oh, I guess it's brown now. And then I look at the description that says deep raspberry. <sighs> okay, it's purple. Good to know. I was about to color someone's hair that color. That would have been amazing. No, no, it wouldn't have worked with the color scheme. I care a lot about color scheme. No. Riley? <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, fun fact. So, on the Twitter thing, people were asking him how old Percy was, and he's like, People are saying that he's 24, and um, there's no factual evidence behind that. I never said that anywhere. As soon as I saw that, I was like, shit, because we made a video. Oh no. I was going off the wiki page. They're the liars. <laughs> Fake news. I haven't colored since, like, forever. I haven't colored since yesterday. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, we should get paid for this, because I know people went out and bought the um, Mad Libs after they saw our video. We, we really show. This is like free advertising. I mean, a rage! I was coloring while I was doing this. My, <laughs> I can't tell if I'm actually trying to make this pretty or not. I'm not. Like sometimes I feel like I'm like, oh no, this is complete badness. But then I'm like, wow, that was a really artistic thing to do, Peyton. Way to go. <laughs> huh. I thought you were gonna sneeze for a second, then I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Wait, were those horns? I don't know. Oh. Hold on. Alright. Ideas are spreading. See, people say that you don't learn shit from watching these videos. I say you do. Mistakes happen, and that's okay. <laughs> Pull some Bob Ross magic right here, Peyton. I have Bob Ross. Ah! <laughs> Ow. We're safe. For now. As you can tell, we are not <laughs> architects. But that's okay. But as that's long as you learn from your mistakes. Yes, Bob Ross. <laughs> a lot of the children watching this probably don't even know who Bob Ross that's is. That's the saddest thing I think I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we were talking about 1,000 subs. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're doing a video for that. We are. That involves you guys. Oh! We're you don't know it yet, but it does. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to tell you what it is exactly quite yet. I know that may seem confusing. It's like, well, how are you supposed to involve us if we don't even know what the hell's going on? You involved yourselves. Yep. You <laughs> asked for this! You know, 
on the um, analytics on YouTube, you can see how long people watch the video for. Like if they stop 3 minutes and 4 minutes and 7 minutes in. I have a feeling this one's gonna be like a really, really low percentage beginning to end of this video. Yeah. yeah. Like people are gonna start watching like, oh this is gonna be fun. And then they're just talking about pansexuality and I would make a fanfiction about pansexual pan. But I would. Have y'all made any fanfiction for Payne and Weston? Y'all should. That'd be so funny. Speaking of which, we've been dating for three months today. Hey y'all! I'm ooh. impressed he made it this far. <laughs> woo! <laughs> I'm actually low-key like naming the people in my picture. So you're naming the people in your picture? Kind of. One is Susan, one is Timmy, and the other is Mark. And then we have Ranger Rick. That's a character made up of my friend. It's one that he uses to prank call people. He accuses them of stealing his animals. I've been prank called before. I knew who it was. I didn't know at the time. I think I found out who it was three years later. Because they were talking about it on the bus. They're like, oh yeah, I remember when we did this to a person. Like They're like, I don't remember who it was, but like we talked about this. And I was like, that was me. And they were like, oh my god, are you serious? I think I still have it on my phone just because it cracks me up. And I, and I, and I played it for them and they were like, oh, no, oh my god. What do you have for your um, voicemail? It just had this Peyton. Sorry, I couldn't get to the phone. But leave a message. Why are you so boring? I mean, Jenna acts like she picks up the phone. It goes on for like 30 seconds and then she's like, just kidding, leave a message. And it pranks me most of the time. Huh? And Joey just yells at you in an angry British voice. <laughs> what does he say? What do you think you're doing, man? Calling me at this ungodly hour. Obviously, I can't get to the phone. So leave a message. That's funny. Mine is, um... Think fast! Beep! They expect to have time to contemplate what they got to say, but I don't give them time. So after posting the, um, how to dodge a bullet video, a lot of people have been sending that to Rick on Twitter, and I really want him to see that. That would be awesome if he- oh my god. Like, I even sent him a link to that, cause like- <coughs> So Payne, what's your favorite Rick Arden book? I think either House of Hades or Mark of the Zeno. I like the way like, it flips back and forth between Tartarus and... The mortal out. world. Yeah, the mortal world. I also like the turntables <laughs> of them being out of their element for once. Like it throws the characters into an unfamiliar situation and kind of like forces them to deal with it. And I like that idea. Because it seems like Annabeth and Percy are like the glue of the group. And so taking away the glue and leaving the rest, forcing them to kind of like work together on their own. It's kind of cool seeing how they like make it work without their normal source of adhesive. See, like, I know I love Mark of Athena, but I don't remember why because I don't remember all that happens in that book, unfortunately, since it's like right in the middle. I don't remember like where like the plot of Son of Neptune stopped. So I'm like, <clears throat> where's the line? And since I haven't had a chance to reread any of them yet, I'm like, what? <laughs> My favorite is House of Hades. Pain, you obviously know that. No, I oh I know. <laughs> in a weird way, like it's not necessarily even because it's the best, but a lot of it's because of the impact it ha had on me. I would joke around that like I made a musical out of it, but in all actuality it was just like a playlist of songs that reminded me of like scenes or characters. Not anymore. <laughs> You're right. I brought that up to Pain, she was like, wait, it's not an actual musical, it's just a playlist. I'm like, yeah. You actually thought that I composed music and all that sort of stuff for House of Hades, and she was like this is completely 100% something you would do. <laughs> and so that night, I wrote the first three songs for it, right? It's not done, we put it on hold because things in the way. I'm not even sure it's a good idea anymore. Yeah. But there's like, how many songs are there? A lot. A lot. We had talked about like how we were gonna like get funding for it. There was legitimate thought put into this. Like it was a work in progress. Three days stuck in the Apennines. Why are these Namina so mean? Our friends, Percy and Annabeth, fell oh, in to Taurus F. F. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Rhyming doesn't work that way. Nico, bro, are you okay? Hun, he doesn't swing that way. What? Kidding. <laughs> What's your favorite song from it? I do like the opener a lot. Oh yeah, the opener is literally called Why, Just Why. <laughs> There's a person about the love ballad in it and everything. It's um, wonderful. <laughs> Nico oh, yeah. sad. I say I also like the Nico song. I have the Nico sad gay song. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's good. It's like the Persebeth love ballad, but a sad twist on it. You know. Oh, I love the Calypso song. The Calypso song's good too, and and the Leo song's good too. Which one? 
the first one. Oh yeah. yeah, it breaks the fourth wall way more times than it should. Mm -hmm. We had this idea to put like Jason's room in it, but all that's there is a brick on a night side table. <laughs> There weren't even any scenes in the book in Jason's room, but we were like ready to make some up just so we could have that joke. Uh, 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 can't we? He, uh, he. No, that's and not till the end. Why can't we agree? That's not till the end. That's not the end? When they're harmonizing. Right. Yeah, there was this awesome like it's three a, way like, harmony. It's beautiful. Yeah, we totally nailed that. She's my sister, don't say that. <laughs> don't speak. I'm not in the mood. Do us all, what is it? Do us all a huge favor. <laughs> Drop the attitude. Ba -da -da. <laughs> Here's a fun little fact that y'all don't know. I, we were thinking about doing this in a video, but I don't think there's enough content for it. It's like how I got here. <laughs> like I tried reading Percy Jackson, I think in sixth grade. Got three pages in and lost interest immediately. <laughs> So I put it down and didn't pick it back up until me. this one over here, literally for two hours straight, she talked to me about the Heroes of Olympia. I could, it was two hours. <laughs> it was two hours of her talking to me about a series that I had no idea what it was about, but just the way she was like so excited about it and everything, I was like... Okay, I think that's good. It overheated for a second. Now we, I think we all good fam. And we're back. It was on my birthday and like yeah. nobody was there. Like my parents were at work and my brother was playing D&D &D with his friends at someone else's house. And I was like all alone because I had like no friends and was super depressed. And it was like my birthday and I was so sad and like I barely know this girl Peyton but she's the closest thing I have to a friend right about now. So I'm gonna hit her up, right? Yeah. And just talk about the only thing I know how to talk about regarding. Pretty much the... Like, the very first videos on this channel were basically for, like, was it just me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the origin of it all was, um, Payne was at band camp and I was all alone in the world. And it was Percy's birthday, August 18th. In celebration of his birthday, I made two Surviving Monsters videos. And I had very little memory on my phone, so I just posted them to YouTube. And then I was like, hey, that was fun. And then I just kept making them. Mm -hmm. And that's how this happened. And she like texted me after I got home from band and was like, hey, check out what I made. I was like, oh yeah, that's really funny. Eventually we got to like part 12. Yeah. And she's like, well, do you want to be in one? And I was like, actually, that was not what your first What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that was your first video. Mm -hmm. During study hall, I had stuff to do, but I was like, I don't want to do my schoolwork, so I'm just going to make a script instead. Uh, As one does. And I made a script for a violent mafia. It was it was basically just me like being passive aggressive, expressing aggression through the script, right? And I was like, hey, we need someone else. You think your brother Joey? He seems pretty cool. Um, you think he could be a banana warrior in this? And you're like, yeah, sure. He 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 probably would be into something like that. <laughs> and he was. We also need an extra in it, which is Jenna, Payne's sister. Um, Joey's her brother, as you probably know at this point, yes. After we made that, we were like, yo, this video was a lot of fun to make, this violin mafia thing, we should do another video. So we just came up with the escape games, which is, just so you know, my favorite video we have ever made. I think it's hilarious. None of it was scripted. It was just the four of us making up crap, and it's pretty funny. It it's beautiful. It's cringy. Really cringy. It's so cringy. Joey has this really high-pitched child voice going on in it. Yes. <laughs> He's trying to do, like, a cool, suave Terminator voice, but he fails miserably. At the time, it worked. Now that he's, like, not a middle schooler, <laughs> it's cringe. Y'all should check that video out. It has nothing to do with their garden books, but it's really funny. It's a two-parter, also. So, we're not totally done, but Peyton has a meeting with her boyfriend. Indeed. Yeah. He's a cutie. You want to show off yours first? Sure, I'll go first. So that's the before. Yep. Holy sh- so, You want to explain what we yeah, got I'm going on Yeah, I'm going to give you a little tour. I don't remember what you are, but you have war paint and blood dripping from your fangs and blood dripping from your hair and your gold horns because you got them G's. The owner has a matching gold chain and also I put in a snake tongue because of her snake tail and she says, Yoo-hoo, I'm a snake. Its nails are painted to match its owner's shoes. And the snake is saying, ah, I'm a snake. Park ranger's like, fuck. The child is worried. And the mother's like, oh no, not Timmy. But then the husband's like, now I'll never get my Chipotle. <laughs> As you can see, it has a nice purple and pink um, cow pattern. And her hair is teal and a polka dot hat because she has literally zero sense of fashion. That is... <laughs> <laughs> That's my That's amazing. I love that. Thank you. Um, you ready for mine? I'm so ready. This might trigger you a little bit. So this is what it looks like before. Ah! 
Oh, it's the page that we both wanted to use. Payne was like, oh yeah, I picked a new one. I'm like, I totally picked a new one, but I didn't. I didn't do the other side. We got enough going on on the one side. I'm so ready. Here's what we got oh going Oh my god, they're fabulous. I, I've actually gave, given them nicknames, you see. Ah. This one's Becky. Uh huh. This is Veronica. Ah. And this is Yolanda. Ah. At one point, I made a mistake by making like the hat thingy the same color as the wings, and Payne was like, pull a page from Bob Ross's book and turn that mistake into a treat. So I did. So I did. <laughs> Did. I gave him some very nice makeup going on, some nice lipstick, some mascara going on. I don't know what else to say here. Um, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. It is beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> well, that was that. If this wasn't incredibly boring and you'd like to see more, then let us know. Mm -hmm. And we'll do more. So we could do more Percy Jackson coloring book. We could do some Shadowhunter coloring. Some Throat of Glass coloring. She hasn't read the books. Correct. So like... <laughs> I think it would be funny if like she tried to figure out what was going on in her own picture. The uh, Lunar Chronicles one is coming out eventually. Ooh, I'm reading that right now, fun e fact. It might already be out. What kind of fan am I? Ah! <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so yeah! <laughs> you can look forward to our video celebrating 1,000 subs. Yes, I don't know if that'll be the- depends on when we hit and when we film. <laughs> yeah. That may or may not be the next one. <laughs> Love you all! Okay, bye! bye.